Hello everyone. Today we have with us Krish Mehta. He is from Mumbai, India. Uh, hi, Krish. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing great. What about you? I'm doing well too. Uh, so, uh, uh, Krish, could you like to please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Krish. I am a second year undergraduate student currently studying at Caltech in the US. I am from Mumbai and I'm majoring in computer science. I also am a student athlete for the California Institute of Technology and I swim. Uh, I'm on the Caltech swim and dive program. That's great. So I would like to start my question like uh, how did you choose Caltech and uh, why such a small institution? So uh, when I was doing my college search, I looked at a lot of the different colleges which were there all around the US. I planned to, I was focused on going to the US for my higher education. And something which really attracted me was the really good student teacher ratio which Caltech has. And I felt like in a smaller environment would give me uh, would help me focus better on my goals just because I would get to know the people better and I would get to know the entire college better and just be familiar with everything that goes on and around in the college. So I have more experience, so I can get many more experiences. I felt that in a really big college, I wouldn't be able to experience as much as I could in a smaller space. And that's why I decided that I would apply to smaller colleges and Caltech was one of my top choices. Oh, that's great. Uh, so. Uh, you know, you said that you are majoring in computer science. So how did you come to this conclusion that you wanted to like pursue computer science uh, like abroad uh, in during your undergrad years at Caltech? Oh, that's an interesting question. So um, ever since I was in, I think, ninth grade, I have been doing robotics and yeah. a lot of the robotics I've done. I have been part of both the mechanical construction side and the programming side. Um, throughout my high school, what I was just mm -hmm. elders and seniors, and I had to decide whether I wanted to do the IB program and continue to go abroad, or I wanted to do the I ICSC or the SC Indian Board program. So after quite a lot of consideration, I thought that the IB program and going abroad would give me better exposure to the world and what happens. So that's why I decided to study in the US. As for computer science, like I said, I've been doing a lot of robotics. And first, I was inclined towards doing mechanical engineering because I was on the construction side of things for basically everything. But then, as I grew and I entered college, I decided that the computer science was a lot more interesting. And I just like just recently decided that yes, I would like to pursue computer science, and I swapped over from Mackey. Okay, that's an interesting story. So, like, uh, is there anything in uh, like outside outside the, uh, your major subject? So, like, it's a bit difficult to ask uh, like this question right now because you you know you are having like remote classes. Uh, but you know, uh, apart from computer science, what other classes are you taking uh, in this semester during this semester? Okay, so currently, uh, currently I am on a gap semester since the lockdown, etc. is there, but I can tell you about different classes I've taken in previous semesters. So, um, Caltech has a whole curriculum for the first year of students, which basically means that um, most of my classes in the first year are common throughout the un entire undergraduate body and do not depend on the major that you are. So. All of us have to do three classes of physics, three classes of math, two classes of chem, one class of bio, and also one humanity every single term, totaling the 12 humanities for the 12 terms of Caltech. Um, a few of the humanities classes that I have taken are English, just a uh, reading one, which is just introduction to reading and writing in English, and also philosophy to so science fiction. So those are the other classes I've taken. The computer science of major classes I've taken are just currently introduction to computer science, data structures, systems, and also decidability and tractability. Okay, that's a variety of classes. <laughs> yes, because I guess Caltech 
uh, has a quarter system, so we have a lot more classes to do, just because you have you spend more quarters at the college itself. Okay, that's great. Like, as you mentioned that uh, mm -hmm. you were not actually recruited by the uh, Caltech Swim and Dive team, but you like had a walk-on, which basically means that you first uh, got, got admissions into the Caltech and then like had your meeting with your swim, uh, swim coach and just and had a walk-on on the team. So like, how, how is it different? Uh, how is the feeling of like being a, a walk-on on the team uh, from like, uh, like a recruit uh, on the Swim and Dive team? Okay, so... I guess one of the major differences between being a recruit and being a walk-on is that most recruits um, already, I guess most recruits first talk to the coach and decide their colleges based on the swimming program, etc. Whereas when I decided to choose and apply to Caltech, I was not considering even swimming that. But since I have been swimming since the last eight to nine years in India itself, I decided that swimming is something that is quite important to me and I would continue swimming. So once I got admission, I uh, emailed the coach and spoke to him saying, and he said that since it is a Division Three team, we would be happy to take you onto the team. So that's how I walked on. And I felt like being a walk-on would not be easy at the start since most of the swimmers ha have been recruited and they know each other from recruiting trips, but it was really just like being any other swimmer and honestly it's a really great team and a really good environment and it's been a lot of fun to take part in the NCAA division three with Caltech. So like what made you like suddenly uh, like go into the varsity swim team uh, like in a division three college? So what decide what actually affected me was that I had reduced my high school swimming in the 11th and 12th grade by a lot and I felt like I would want to continue doing a sport for fitness and swimming was something I have been doing for a lot of time. And I felt like the Division three times which my college had were not very far away from what my timings were currently. So I felt like I could actually be a vital member to the team. And that's why I decided to apply. So, yeah, if it was a Division one, I, I wouldn't have considered applying. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to qualify either. Yeah. So, apart from the classroom, what are the other extracurricular or other clubs or student organizations that you are involved in? So, currently, I research with the Aerospace Robotics and Controls Lab. So, I was, I, I was given a summer undergraduate research fellowship at this lab from the college. And I do my research in the simultaneous estimation of poison shape algorithm, which is basically an algorithm which uses a camera to estimate how objects in space are flying. So I worked on the LIDAR part of that algorithm and I have published uh, my paper on my work on that algorithm is also going to be published in the Caltech Undergraduate Research Journal. I have also given a talk about my research. On top of that, I am currently an undergraduate representative of the Caltech ARC, which is the Academics and Research Committee. So our job is to talk about how our courses are and give feedback about the courses and also organize student faculty meetups, help students with any academic needs that they might have and improve the academic quality at Caltech. Okay, so you have been like involved in a lot of projects and activities, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, just for a note that I will mention all the uh, your research works and re uh, research videos down in the description. So sure, anyone interested you. can just watch it, yeah. So uh, tell me something interesting about uh, yourself that nobody knows. Okay, so I guess this is, I guess this is more about a lot of my friends know and probably anyone watching this video has no idea about is that I really enjoy playing board games. So I you I know you gave me this question before this 
interview actually yeah, started yeah. so i had planned this out but playing board games is something that i really enjoy and luckily i have a bunch of friends who really enjoy this so yeah playing games like kata and monopoly deal or something is definitely the most fun i've had in a lot of time so that's something which i guess yeah i guess not anybody who's watching this video would know okay, so what are your like uh, what do you uh, want to uh, do after you graduate out of your college so currently i am not sure if i want to pursue an academic life and continue doing research or go into industry i most likely i think would like to go into industry right now just because a lot of new technology is coming up with all the self driving cars and all the advancements i guess in tech that are there i feel like this would be a great opportunity to explore and build something new for the community yeah that's great so thank you krish for joining us and like having valuable time for uh, thank giving you out for so many insights yeah okay thank you thank Bye. you so much for having me thank you